Last of the Ori crew. Oh, lowly. I always forget. I, I shouldn't. Uh, never mind. Just call me Silver. Loaded. I'm sorry you had to suffer the smell of those stinky rat asses along your way, Ascended One. We're short of ends these days. I'm Tobias. My meager self will be responsible for your training. We will follow standard protocols and have you ready shortly. Right, that dreamy glowing stick behind you will be a part of the training too. The mighty rod of lightning? No, it certainly will not. I might not be the most competent teacher, but I can tell the limits of my pupils. And I will make you die with some dignity. Not just by accidentally frying yourself. Well, dying with dignity doesn't sound like a great learning concept. Why don't you quit teaching if you think you suck at it? Ah, oh, cheeky. I was like you once. Run of the litter. I had to fight more to get what I deserved. It forged me. Made me strong. A survivor. Still, my warriors are long gone. I'm old, tired and mutilated. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Best I can do is to make sure you won't be dying too often. So, this reviving thing, how does it actually work? From the partial data we have gathered during our experiments, we conclude that if you die, it creates some sort of anomaly. Every living being resets to the state it was before you died. Even the ramp. This immortality thing seems to be more complex than I thought. Good news for the spa rat though, right? He gets reborn too. It might. Or not. In some cases, the beings do not come back to life. We have inconclusive data sets from your peers. And? And that's it. They're inconclusive. Your peers described blue walls, supposedly a force field of some kind, completely invisible to us. One might extrapolate that the field disrupts the resurrecting effect for those not being merged with the belt of immortality. Oh, this is getting a bit insane even by the local standards. I mean, like, whatever. What should I do? Conclude your own research. That glowing stick. Can I at least touch it? Absolutely not. It's extremely dangerous. This sacred weapon can be handled only by a fistful of chosen ones. Not a single one of you is ready yet. Pet was not trying hard enough. Brian lacks imagination. And Marco, well, I have my reservations. That's too bad. Maybe I will be the chosen one. We'll see after a few good deaths. I'd rather not die at all. So, training. How do we start? First, find yourself a sword in the armory. I won't bother you with another ratchet to lead you. It's easy to find. You just need to go back through the same passageway by which you came here. It's at my right hand. Once you're at the end of it, turn right. It's the first door just around the corner. There is a giant shield above. Easy to spot. Equip yourself there and come back.
What thought more coming? Master's Missy? Looking for sword? Talking rats? Right. This probably can't get any weirder. No offense, just never heard a rat talk before. They told me... They sent pups for sword. Looking for sword? Probably. I should get something to train with. Yes. They not want you to destroy good blue steel, master. They give bronze first. Not as good metal, but master takes. Edgy, slim, and with a tan exactly my type. How did you know? I give you best fun I have. Only one bronze left, so it easy. The same for complimentary shield. Complimentary? That's a complicated word. I did not say master. You did? Must hurt somewhere. Sorry. The bottle took straight, master. Now, sword one hand, shield another. And go train with other pups. Hope you'll be better than they. Sword, shield. I feel ready. And silly. But mostly ready. Good. We'll follow the protocol and start easy. This is just a warm-up. More of an execution than a fight. That rat shit was stealing in the kitchen. Use it to find out how sharp your sword is. Wait a minute, I thought you said spar rats. Like in a non-killing practice sparring. <laughs> you are funny. It's just rats. We don't consider it killing. I don't feel ready. Then make yourself ready. Time is scarce. Sword, shield. I feel ready. Good. Oof. This is just a warm-up. That rat shit was stealing in the- Wait a minute, I thought you said spa rats. <laughs> you off. Let's commence with your lesson. Rule one. Blows are best to be avoided. Perception and planning. Rule two. If you can't avoid a blow, use your shield for protection. That's it. Learning by doing and dying is my credo. Just don't forget to use your sword to deliver the execution. Hey, convict! Execution time. Results. Let us proceed. This one took part in the previous uprising. It is strong, vicious, has the blood of many innocents on its paws. Looks clumsy, but beware. They have trained him well. Who did? That ratkin renegade scum, hiding in their stinking volcano, killing our kid. They all deserve to be executed. Start with this one. Learn as much as you can in the process. Yeah, sounds like a great learning experience. 
Use all the skills you've acquired in a previous sparring session and focus on using the rolls to avoid stronger attacks. Here's a little healing help. Practice using it sparingly. I don't really feel like taking lives, but it's not like I have a real say in this. Let's get this over with. Down with it. Move. I said move, you overgrown rat. rejuvenated. That serves that child-eating monster right. The soul of my poor niece can now ascend in peace. Well done, Silver. You'll be ready for the cradle and Livel soon. What cradle? And who is Livel? Oh, lowly. Me and my premature informing. Focus. We will discuss the fortress later. First, something to restore your health. You'll be in dire need of it very soon. Now it's time to commence the real training. You will need some real weapons for that. Get them at the armory and come back. Back again, master. They sent me to... Yes, master. Get better things to better kill our kin. Like you killed Fink and Dorg. Bratrus, just tell me. Shame. Here, take and go. Do your killing. I really hoped you'd be different, but you like Naboru after all. Give me a break. I really didn't have a choice, you know. We all have choice, Master. We can choose to help those who make others suffer, or we can choose to help those who suffer. Be sure you know what is better. From what Tobias says, it seems that your free kindred kidnapped and ate his little niece. Why should I help child murderers? He liar. We have big teeth, Naboru fear. But we prefer vegetables. Tobias just spreading lies about our kin. He just hit everybody because he lost his hand in war. He happy we his slaves and he can pester us. Hold on right there. I thought you work here as servants. Servants? Are you blind? Maybe they call us servants, but we slaves. Tobias tortures and kills. He laughing when putting collar for leash with fiery iron on our neck, master. Well, you could always fight back, right? Or at least stand up for yourself somehow. If you unleash your full potential, those are some pretty sharp teeth you've got there. Teeth sharp and strong, but leash too strong. I do not know how to fight, Master. We scrub floors and fix meals and garden and give weapons. We not know another life. We want justice. Well, that sounds shitty. Let me get to know the ropes around here, and I'll try and see what we can do about the tortures killed situation. Thank you, Master. Do something for us now. We need something to heal our kin, Master. Many burned and tortured by Vaitis. They keep medical kits hidden from us. Bring one, Master. Stop calling me that. I'll see what I can do.
I see you are ready. Good. It's time for the next step. You will train with your human counterparts. I suppose you wonder why. Uh, no, not really. The idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine to me. Good. You might think that challenging Noboru or rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you will fight other humans are slim. But with them, you can always fight to the death. It is proven to bring the best results. And since none of you can really die, death is merely a technicality. That sounds like a rather painful technicality to me. It's the best way to learn in the short time we have. No second chances, no room for errors. You must do your best from the beginning. Well, let's do my best then. Marco, enter and commence. Time to kick the newbie's ass. I can only presume you have lost to our best pupil. How very unsurprising. Tobias kept hoping somebody could replace Marco, yet you've made it very clear it won't be you. Hey, I wasn't trying to replace anybody. How could you? The power of immortality you possess was clearly bestowed upon unworthy loins. Could you just give me a break already? I've just died and it's all very... Silence. We have no time to waste on failures like... What was that? That's too early. Too early. Give me your weapons. Tobias! Hide now. When the time is right, sneak out and acquire the rod. I'll stall the queen. Bring the lightning rod to the armory. I'll meet you there. Your Majesty, what an unexpected honor. Silence, you lowlife. You have broken your vows. We know you are hiding forbidden technology and... Dear Gracchus, follow the procedure. We first need to acquire proof to support your claims. Patriarch, our guards are probing your premises rigorously. And if they find anything unorderly... Hey, you! Stop right there! Ah, that's unlikely. An Earthling. Our dear Gracchus was right. We have brought you here to show you the glory of Wardinia and to remind you that the world, once orderly, is distorted. We will need answers fast, and don't try to fool us. 
Unlike our dim-witted half-brother, we don't dwell on old legends. May I just... Silence! Why did you appear here? What do you bring to our tormented people? I have no idea. That's what I was trying to tell you. I have no clue whatsoever what's going on here. My memory is one black hole, and nobody tells me anything. Like that... Your Majesty, don't waste your royal breath on these traitors. The legends... We can't and won't rule by legends, Marshal. We are not our delusional semi-sibling. We shall seek the truth first, then we proceed to justice. Earthling, we had no idea you were kept in oblivion. We presume that the Keepers have tried to make you part of their schemes. Rest assured that nothing you were told here is true. Ghastly things are now vexing our realm. Twisted abominations. Lightning weapons. Rats lurk in the shadows, waiting for us to become weak. I spit on the stinky rats and their graves. Silence! We are here to put those monstrosities to a halt. Tell us, Earthly, were you aware that you were involved in a traitorous plot to overthrow your queen? I honestly had no idea. All they ever told us was to train. We thought so. We are still keen to discuss your involvement later. Now we have more pressing matters to deal with. Patriarch Maltus, you are hereby found guilty of treason. There is no mercy in our heart for those who betray the ways of the Naburu. Still, we don't want to disturb the people more by beheading a Patriarch. Yet. You will be imprisoned here until we decide your fate. As for you, Tobias, we value your loyalty and your battle scars. Now would be the time to confess. Or should we have the whole monastery thoroughly searched? Our men would surely find a secret passage or two, given enough time. And believe us, our present rage is nothing compared to the havoc that would be wreaked upon your head then. Speak up, or... Your Majesty, behold! Fortress is under attack. Rats again! How unsurprising, yet unsettling. Barabufus can't hold the fortress effectively with the limited crew he has. You, take two more men. Stay here and make sure nobody leaves this place. Incarcerate the culprits, of course. And give them what they deserve. They still deserve a fair investigation, dear Gracchus. You, Marshal, and the rest of our guard shall follow us to the fortress. Let's squash this pesterous rat rebellion and feed the bodies to his pet. Then we shall return to investigate further. See that too? That huge, ugly man blob just dragged Maltus away. Yes, I am beaten. Bleeding and hurt, but not blind. Do you realize it's all your fault? How could you fail us on such an easy task? Well, I can't. 
Run there. Fetch the rod. Bring it to me. If it weren't for your failure, Silver, we wouldn't be here. And Maltus would still be among us. I was sure you'd be the one to find the cradle. Now I am sure only that you will be dead as soon as you leave this prison. You know, I can't technically die. Even better. You'll keep painfully dying, indefinitely. So there probably is justice in the world after all. About that cradle... You're not worthy. Spare me. I am in pain. Leave me alone. Interesting. Ah! Uh. Still, you might make a good rodent. You have a knack for surviving. Thank you, I guess. We might have an interesting offer for you, if we find you worthy of the task. But tread lightly. My brethren weren't too keen of this idea. They won't hurt you, but I wouldn't get too close. Now, follow me. There's a lot to explain, and the fire is burning hot already. <laughs> 